Hello there, people of the internet. My name is Dwight Jagero, and this is Dialogues with Jagero. We are continuing our conversation with my dear friend, Mr. Maurice Mathaka. How are you doing, Bwana? I am super, super, super good. There, there's a lady who was talking about uh, Mr. Rabbit the other day. Yes. And uh, the just, famous rabbit. Yeah, she has found very many enemies online. I'm saying, hey, you go to church. You know, you don't, you're a young girl. Don't get involved with those kind of things at that, such a young age. Do you, are you even married? You know? So she was is talking it, about. Is it a husband. woman's duty to be married? Uh, is she, she livestock? I mean, does, does, is she owned? Even our own parents don't own her. I mean, those people want her to go to church. See, they just go to church and shut up. Anyway, what what uh, what do you think See, about... See, then they can just go with live rabbits and eat them in church. Well, <laughs> surely. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, in 2024, I'm not tolerating nonsense. You are so angry, man. I'm not hungry. I've just, I've just decided in life. I, I, you know, Jagero... It's, it's been a minute of dealing with humans. So this year I've just decided I will be more upfront with my thoughts. I have a lot of scary shit in my head. Like, like what? Like, like what? Oh, no, no. <laughs> that's that's going to be another scary episode. Not no, no, this no, no, one. No, no, no. Just, 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 just. I, I just, I have a lot of, you see, I've been dealing with humans for such a long you time. You tell me, what is the scariest shit that you've not had that you don't know? You tell me. We're not having that conversation today. Right now, I want us to discuss masturbation. Because I've got too many young guys who are telling me about uh, their masturbation regime and how they feel less of men because they're masturbating. The fact that um, they prefer their hand to a girl. I want to explain these things. Because these are the things we're dealing with. Let's, we talk, let's, deal with let's, uh, let's talk. Let's talk about masturbation, and then we are going to talk about polygamy <laughs> and monogamy. I, I mean, as when we were raised in church, we were told that uh, masturbation is sin. Mm -hmm. Don't be stroking your penis all over the place. You right, know? it's not good. Be you know, wait, get a woman, penetrate a woman, give birth. Yet the fill people fill the world. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Yet, don't, don't get in this shenanigans. Yet some of the Mateka people who we look up to in the same churches uh, are the ones plugging us in other ways in private. So really, come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. So, uh, what, some, before you go ahead, yeah. something that, uh, that she's called Roberta. Okay. Roberta Bobby. Yes. Roberta Bobby. I think for the first time I had somebody talking about masturbation in a very mature way. Right. You know, okay, and she, you know, she brought both worlds right on the table, yeah, and talked about the things that she thinks are dangerous about the things that she thinks are dangerous about about masturbation, okay, uh, how it can help, you know, right. So, uh, what is burning, bro? What is what do you what do you think about it, man? Okay, um, first and foremost, masturbation as an act is actually healthy for you. Yeah. Let's look at a man's masturbation. I would encourage masturbation if you are not that sexually active with a sexual partner. Reason being, number one, we need a certain percentage of ejaculation every month. Not for the sex part, for the fact that we need to offload our semen. Keeping our semen within our testicles is not healthy. Explain. There is a buildup of semen. We produce semen. Correct? That semen has sperm within it. We have to ejaculate that sperm. There's a lot of studies that have shown that if you don't ejaculate, there's more chances of you having negative cells, which then advance to being what would call cancerous cells and prostate cancer and stuff. So first and foremost, science has proven that you at least need to ejaculate 21 times. Is it practical for everyone? Hence why you heard one of the team going like, hmm? <laughs> Is it practical for everyone? Not necessarily. But they're just telling you what would be recommended. It doesn't mean you're going to achieve it. But if you can ejaculate 21 times, do it. 21 ejaculations in one month. Yes. Now, a lot of people will be like, oh, so what you're saying is men should just masturbate as much as possible. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that you need some level of ejaculant to leave your system. 
How you acquire it is your own business. I'm not in control of that. You know what I'm saying? I don't think we're going to be having ejaculation seminars anytime soon. So you're the one to control your ejaculation regime. But it's important to ejaculate. It's, 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 now, that's a what I want name. to cover ejaculation is... Ejaculation regime. Yes, exactly. Uh, what I want to cover is... Dramatic, you know that. <laughs> I know, I've been told. Um, what I want to cover is I have a lot of guys of all ages telling me that because I've masturbated for a while... And a while could be anywhere from two years to five years. Uh, I feel that now I don't have strength to perform in bed. So they're blaming the masturbation instead of looking at what the masturbation has actually done. We need to realize one thing as men. Nothing offloads without looking at how it's produced. When you offload semen, you're offloading protein, you're offloading amino acids that are produced by the body for them to produce that semen that has your sperm. If you ejaculate too much, you have a deficit of many things. One of them is zinc. And because you're not eating foods that are rich with zinc and many other uh, ingredients that now make up the amino acids, like good protein, then you're going to be in trouble you're going to start finding your body's weak. Why? Because you are putting out more than you're putting in. You need to replenish. Does that make sense? So if you're ejaculating, you need to replenish what's causing the ejaculation to form. It's like when a man says, I was very strong when I was feeling horny and I had an erection. But the minute the man ejaculated, his entire body just went flossy. <sighs> the bo suddenly he has no power. Mateka, and, Yet. And, and, and look, sorry to cut you short, no my problem. brother. Yes. Women have always blamed men. Why is it that you ejaculate and then you just fall flat and look at the ceiling? And, uh, yes, that's because oh, when really? men ejaculate, they use a lot of energy. Mm. We expel a lot of energy. Really? Yes, a mm. lot of energy. That energy is why some men flatline. There's no juice left. Flatline. <laughs> totally. Now, this is not a bad thing in the procreational world. In the recreational world is where we're blamed. We were designed to ejaculate. And then fall and fly and flatline. And just relax the way <laughs> rabbits do. You still, well, have, you, have, you seen, have you seen lions after ejaculating? Uh, they, they just pose. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, ma, oh, ma Simba, so. <laughs> That's what we were designed for. But that's in the procreational realm. But now when you look at things like recreational sex, where suddenly we have to be on our A game, but we also play part in that because the people we mingle with, what are we telling them? You, you, when I catch you, wow, wow, wow. You're going to climb walls. I don't know, chandeliers. And nini, nini. Why are you talking about chandeliers when all you have in your house is a bulb? Just Relax. Tell her, you'll see what I've got. Sometimes I have a lot. Sometimes I have a little. My brain may cheat me that today I'm very strong. Sometimes I've got two minutes. I've got for a minute. Yes. And then once we get to the act, my penis decides I don't have that much energy because my brain was lying to me. So we all go through our trials and tribulations. Hence why people say, whenever we're out of town, I feel stronger. That's a psychological thing. There's also the excitement. There's the, there's the euphoria of, wow, we're out and you're not stressing. You know, it's very hard to gain an erection and sustain it when you're thinking about school fees. Oh. Do you see what I'm saying? Hmm? Imagine you've gotten to that point where you are hitting on somebody. You've met them. You're now there. You're in that bed. The sheets are smelling good. It's silky. It's everything. Then suddenly as you're kissing, and this has happened to a lot of people, school fees just comes in your head. School fees. Dude, you're far away from the school. But suddenly school fees trigger something. What happens to that nigga downstairs? He flatlines. He flatlines. <laughs> nigga disappears. He shrivels up like a, I don't know, like a turtle. Are you going to explain to other how why you were dis, suddenly thinking about school fees? Or some truck has squamad somewhere that has your potatoes. 
and you are here about to ejaculate your own potatoes, things flatline. True or false? True. So, men are not replenishing what they're ejaculating. There is a balance. One is about health. And the health is you need to ejaculate. But you're also not doing yourself any good if you're ejaculating 10 times a day. Because I have talked to guys who do that a day. Why would you ejaculate 10 times a day? What's going on? What's the problem? Is the world coming to an end? Uh, that's a very good question. Um, you realize that for him to be able to ejaculate 10 times a day, it means that his body is producing a lot of semen. Jigger, if I or ejaculate or, or, 10 or, times a day, or he's forcing it. You, you'll find me in a hospital. Or he's forcing it. No, I don't think he's forcing it. Like, Jagger, come on. You've got a penis. When was the last time you forced your penis to do anything? That thing's got its mind of its own. When you like, feel like, the I like, urge... I like the way you say it. Yes. The penis has got a mind of its own. Yes. Oh, you know how that nigga can disappoint us. He just... And as you as you go older, you realize you and him are not always friends. Ah. Uh, yep. He wants what he wants when he wants it. When you think he should want it, he doesn't want it. True or false? True. Yes. So... If a man can ejaculate a lot of times, it means, and he can actually see that he's producing, he's ejaculating semen that he can see. It means that he's equally producing enough. So that urge, there's a guy right now, even the urge to have, he has lost it. His sperm count is so low. And by the way, it's not a Kenyan thing. It's a world thing. Men are suffering everywhere. But some of the things that we need to stop doing are eating all these processed foods and go back to our herbalists. Understand herbs. Understand what root did what, what leaf did what when you boiled it. Have your concussion that you can take. That's why I was having a conversation with a guy. Um, there's this lady. Uh, she's from the Mijikenda tribe. And she told me she'll take me to her village. She literally has, what was the, the number? About 60-something uh, uncles and aunties. Why? Because back then, men had energy, not because they were special. They just took in the right stuff. They had a herbalist who knew what to boil, which, which, which plant to pick for what and this. And it was not a Viagra thing. It's That plant is also good for your liver, your pancreas, your, your digestive system. It regulates your heart, it, your eyesight, everything, so that you're optimized the way we optimize things today to be robotic. So we had things that programmed our bodies. But today we have so many things that negate all that programming. That's our problem. And because they're cheap. We're living in a world where, as we were discussing before, most of our foods are going to be controlled. I'm not going to be able to have my, my garden kitchen because somebody wants to sell me the product rather than me farm it. So now it, for individual basis, you have to look at what is my intake. The good thing I've seen, there's a culture of going to the gym. A massive culture. Women are doing it, men are doing it. That's great. But don't go to the gym, then you lie to yourself, you're going to eat five chapatis. Go to the gym and eat what is required of you in terms of the protein more than the carbohydrate. Don't have to remove the carbohydrate, but eat the protein more. What is pro, pro, which is which is the most available protein in in in, in Kenya today? For example, pro meat, meat. But the one thing they lie to you is this: they lie to you that fatty meat is bad. Fatty meat is good for you. The fat that's bad is this saturated fat. These these vegetable fats that we're taking. Most of these oils that they're saying are vegetable are not vegetable. These are researches that are going all around the world. You know animal fat. Yeah. And now they're selling it. The fat or, of rams. Yes. That's good for you. Cook cook with that rather than the oil you normally take from the supermarket. How about Ile Anguro? The pig. The pig fat. Okay. I, I, I don't know much about pig fat, but, but it's animal fat. So I, I can't see it being bad for you. But animal fat is the way to go. You need a certain percentage of fat. It's very important. This lean meat crap is not going to work for you. Lean meat crap. Yes. Yeah, Lean right. meat is where there's no fat at all. You Just need some degree of fat in your meat. That's how very about important. meat and bone? Like ribs and stuff. Yeah. I think Nothing wrong with that. I think there's a little bit of fat 
Yes, nothing wrong with that. But now the problem is how many, have you ever noticed that people care more about the accompaniment more than the main dish? Serve somebody meat and serve them nothing else. They'll ask you, where's the chapati or rice or ugali? We care more about the carbohydrates because the carbohydrate is addictive. It's like sugar. You realize sugar is a drug. Funny enough, it's, it's legal, but it's a drug. It's fattening everyone, our kids, us, everybody. And that's why at some point I had to make a conscious decision. I have to leave some of those things. And I felt much better. I'm much stronger than most guys half my age. Fact. Fact. And I made sure I've eaten the right things so I can maintain my ejaculate. It is very hard You're as a man. You're maintaining your what? Your ejaculate. Ejaculate? Where you have, yes, where you have healthy sperm. Ejaculant. That's yes. what it's called. Yes. Ejaculant. Yes. I love that you've repeated many times. <laughs> you know? Yes, eating the right stuff. And this this whole you know, nutritionists are gonna hate me for this, but it's just fact, based on what I've seen. You know, we live in a world where people rely too much on just what other people are saying. Sometimes use your own body as a guinea pig. Yep. And then please, if you're gonna do yourself a favor, if you're researching, don't Listen to people who are being paid by big companies to big say farmer. something. Big farmer. That kind big of farmer. promotes what they're selling. Find people who used to be in that big farmer. And, and because of their conscience, they said, I'm not going to lie to humans. I'll tell you what's good for you and what's not. And that's where I get my research from. But then you get it from many guys. And then you also, you also test your body. I can tell you, I used to believe in the whole eating fruits. Then I started finding out that some fruits are actually bad for us. But then now you have to figure out what fruit causes you problems. Fruits, the word fruits, all healthy, all fruits. For, for example, my body doesn't do too well with too much potassium. I used to love... Is, potassium is from which true fruit? Uh, bananas. Oh, yeah? I, used to, I could take bananas when I was a kid. I used to love them. But now I can take bananas, but not that regular. If anything, at some point, I can go for months without eating a banana. I wish I could, but I've realized right now it's not gelling with my system because of the potassium. As we age, different things start to affect us. Yeah. For example, you know, like about milk? Milk actually has no nutritional value. Especially when it's over-processed. Today, science has proven that milk actually does not add a lot of value to us. And those people we call lactose intolerant. Me, me. That's me. You're the real people. You're the real human. The person who's tolerant has a system that has refused to move away from milk. We only need milk when we're suckling at a certain age. There's a certain age when we start growing where your own body starts to tell you because you're a grown-up, you don't need, yeah? Because you're grown-up, do you I don't need milk. milk. And the fact is we don't need milk. Humans have not always consumed dairy milk. Dairy milk is from domesticated animals. If you look at the science or the research on how long domesticated animals have been, and now we have a breed called Afrasian and many others, humans don't always, have not always needed milk. But because we've been groomed that milk is part of our tea and milk has calcium, and when we're kids we're told milk makes us stronger, we believed in it. But today science has proven milk has not really added any value to us at all. It has fat. Sorry? It has fat. Tama, that's what they remove and make cheese out of. Yes, but yes, it has fat. Uh, actually, it's, it's better to have the, 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 the fatty milk than the skimmed milk. Yet, not that long ago, especially when I was in the UK, we were told like skimmed milk is the best. They still sell it. Yes. Why is it Europe has got so many types of milk, by the way? No, but they have an economy where they, they, they tell people to do things and people do it. You and I have an advantage that we, we, we can have a shags or if you live in your own compound, you can have a kitchen garden, but how many people can have that? So when they're told something's good for them, they, they buy it. If you look at a lot of foods abroad, 
that are tagged as healthy, if you look at the label, at least the labels, they're not hiding. There's so many fillers there. So it's unhealthy for you. What are fillers? Things they put in food to make us feel full. There are also things in food. To make us feel as f- To make us feel full. Really? You eat something. Yes. Like, for example, when you, when you, when you buy beef sausages, what percentage of sausages is beef? What would you expect it to be? 90. No, it's not. It's anywhere between 40 and 20%. The rest are fillers. Fillers? Yes. Fact. Go research it by yourself. In a beef... In I was a, shocked as you are. In a beef sausage? Yes. It's 20 to 40? Yes. The rest are fillers? Actually, if you find someone, if you find somebody giving you over 40, you're very lucky. But then now you're paying premium for that. What for the example? sausage I ate when I was a kid versus the sausage I eat today are two different sausages. There's no profit in giving you 90% or 100% beef sausage. There's no profit. If I sell it to you first, you won't afford it. But if I can give you 20% beef and the rest I find fillers, which means it's tissue from other parts of the body that I fill and I fill the sausage and I label it as beef, then you buy it. What are the fillers in beef? God, I, 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 I wish I knew all the ingredients. I don't know them. I've not done that research. I didn't go that deep. But I can do it for you if you want. But the point is, I had to do it for myself because some of these things started affecting me, started affecting my own digestive system. And then at some point, I found an energy healer who's in the States. And through sessions, through video, a lot of my ailments went away. When pharma could not help me. I now have, and that's why I was very interested in the, the energy healer that you, you once had a podcast with. Mm. Had he, uh, energy healing is also another avenue that I have been teaching those who will listen because it works. And it's not new to Africa. It just, it used to be here, but some of those traditions were relinquished when we allowed those who came to conquer us to tell us that that was wrong. Yet it was things that could heal our bodies, transform our bodies. Let's talk about addiction in masturbation. Yes. Because it is well, it is well written and recited about. What are, what well, do we know I, about addiction? Okay, I don't know about well written, but it's researched about to some degree. It will vary depending on the study. Like I said, some studies are not really about truth, but more about what somebody can achieve from the study. Um, the word addiction means that you like it too much. Now you need to look at it this way: he's not addicted to masturbating; he's addicted to the feeling he gets. Once he masturbates. There's no difference. There's a difference. Masturbating is the act of actually touching your member and stroking it. And then the byproduct is the ejaculant you feel. So if he could just touch his nose and the ejaculant came out, he wouldn't need to masturbate. would have to call it something else. Nosebait. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? So we have to look at that urge that feeling is what suddenly he's addicted to. He's addicted to the high. And that feeling, that high, that feeling is incredible. It's an incredible feeling. All men who have experienced it can say it's incredible. But now the thing is, you need to ask him, what is it that causes him to? It could be as simple as he's got such a heightened production of semen that the urge to want to ejaculate comes very easy to him. Let's be very clear. If you have a low production of semen, you're not going to be a masturbator. There's nothing to masturbate. There's nothing to encourage your brain to masturbate. If you're not producing semen, then your brain cannot be triggered to want to have that feeling because nothing will come out. It will, it will explain a little bit of the science that you're talking about. In a layman's language. Okay. Uh, your balls, your testicles, they're a factory, correct? Yeah. Yeah, you go, factory, guys. A factory of what? Of, of semen. That's where it's produced, right? Yes, that's where it's produced. Uh, if it's produced in your ass, I'll let you know. It's not, it's not happening at the moment. <laughs> um, so that factory is producing semen, correct? Yeah. And then at some point, when there's a lot of production, that production needs to leave the factory, correct? 
Yes. Otherwise, the factory might explode exactly. because of too much semen. I mean, you'll drown the employees. We don't want to do that. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want a semen lawsuit. I can imagine a factory doing semen and the semen isn't going anywhere. Imagine. Yeah, mm. and then it explodes all over somebody. So for some people, that's very kinky. But right now, let's move away from the kink. Yes. So that production needs to go somewhere. So the minute that production is full, the brain has sent a message. Let's look for an outlet. And the first option for that particular guy is, and the easiest and the cheapest one is, as they say, hand to mouth, hand to dick. Hand to mouth. There you go. Hand to dick. Stroke it, ejaculate. <sighs> That's so nice. Did you even get goose pimples in your life? Oh, this, this is so much cheaper than going for dinner. With a woman. There you go. Or whoever you take for dinner. Mm. And then now that becomes your thing. Before you know it, you realize, oh my God, I'm feeling this urge almost every two, three hours. Again, you go hide somewhere. Maybe you're in a family house. Yeah. You start stroking your guy again. It becomes an addiction because now you love it. It's a way you can tell somebody you've got an addiction for coffee. Like there are some guys who like taking four or five cups of coffee. But how come, how come we never say you've got an addiction of eating too much? How come in our homes, we eat two kilos every day and no one's saying we're addicted to food? Why? Because it's an acceptable addiction. And that's crap. I'm not saying a man should be masturbating 10 times a day. That's unhealthy. Even good things, if you overdo them, are unhealthy. But that addiction comes from the fact that it is a stimulus that he likes and the end result is a sensation that's amazing for him. How does he manage it? Okay. Uh, it's simple to say that he could probably exhaust his time doing something else. What else? What else? Go to church. You think those guys in church are not masturbating? They are. Matter of fact, you find those guys are masturbating more than anybody else because of their beliefs don't allow them to be as kinky as I would be. My kinkiness allows me to know that, you know what, I may not need to masturbate, but I can extinguish my craving for a sexual explosion when I feel like. They're in a cave, and that cave at some point causes your bedroom to be the only place where you keep that secret to yourself. And the problem is, because I'm free to explore, I don't need to explore all the time. But somebody who is caged, he has an avenue to get addicted. Because now he gets addicted to the hiding. That's also an addiction. Somebody could open the door. That's another craving of, wow, I love the fact that I, I masturbate in the house and no one catches me. Sometimes they even get annoyed when everybody leaves. Because now the thrill of being caught is not there. So sometimes you need to understand how people think. We're not all the same. I don't know why people think we live in this euphoria of a world where just wishful thinking makes things change. That's not how things work. You can easily condemn a guy or judge a guy who masturbates a lot because you're not masturbating. Do you share a penis? No. Do you know his struggles? No. So instead of condemning or judging, try and understand why they do it. You might get nearer to a solution than just saying, you, why don't you find something else to do? What if you don't masturbate, but you're the most cruel boss? Does that make you better than the masturbator? I'd rather give the masturbator some props. <laughs> you're just cruel to human beings. This guy at least is not cruel to his penis. See my point? So sometimes it's good to understand why the guy is masturbating. Mm. But today, to be honest, we live in a world where that's a very easier option than the expensive world of the social arena. How much money do you need to go out to a club in Nairobi? A lot. Just, no, no, just a, a, a normal night in Nairobi. How much minimum will you spend? Savannah that I like is 400. 400 what? 10 shillings. For, for, a PA is 500. Yeah, I'm to... saying, what's your budget? Especially if you have company, what's your budget in an Nairobi club? Five, six thousand, ten. Okay, assuming it's six thousand, yeah, on the lower end. Six thousand 
in two weeks. This is one night. How many nights would a, a Nairobian go out? Two in a, a two in a, in a, in, a, in a week. Two in a week. So that's twelve thousand. Twelve thousand times four is forty-eight thousand. How many Kenyan men are earning fifty Gs? Taking home fifty Gs. You know, those are the those are the stats we don't look at. Huh? We think every Kenyan man by some miracle, should be driving a Range Rover. Ask yourself, how many Kenyan men take home 50,000 compared to the guy who takes home 200,000? We're not even talking about those guys who earn over half a million, Bob. Compare the number of guys who earn 50K, take home after tax, and the guy who earns 200, 300K. I'd love somebody to give me those stats. I don't have them. Based on this video, maybe somebody out there will share with us. That'll be great. Maybe I could do my own research. Fine. But you will find the guys who take home 50 Gs are a crazy majority. Yeah. And less. For sure. So you're telling that guy so that he can ejaculate, he needs to spend his 50 Gs a month. He hasn't paid rent. He hasn't paid anything. He hasn't eaten. He hasn't even moved from his bank account. He hasn't removed his ATM from his wallet. You're telling that guy that to ejaculate, he needs to go to a club and spend 48000 So he's left with two Gs. That two Gs is for him to do what? Wipe his semen. Bro, you know, the thing is, all these stresses, Masturbation is a all these the stresses too. we have as humans, they all trace back to something that's reoccurring. Right now, that guy who earns 50 Gs, with the value of the Kenya shilling, he's, that 50 Gs is no longer 50 Gs. Is it? Mm. Do you remember a day when 10 Gs could buy you shopping? Yeah. Today, can 10 Gs buy you anything? A crate of eggs. A lotion and something else. You're telling the majority of men that they have a duty or they have a social responsibility to spend money so they can ejaculate. I can see why masturbation is an option. Because now, unless we're not realistic, at, at some point, a man needs to ejaculate. Unless he's got some underlining issue that does not cause him to have sexual urges. We're not talking about that guy. And those guys do exist. But the majority of men at some point, will want to ejaculate. When he looks at the expense of ejaculating, him and his hand are going to be buddies for a very long time. It's the cheapest way. This guy, is trying to feed his family and you're trying to tell him that he also has a social responsibility. For what? It's not going to work. Mm. So a lot of men today would rather masturbate. And that masturbation, because it's so cheap, and it's so easy and it's flexible because I can do it by myself anytime. At some point, it becomes an addiction because it's the only hobby that I have. Once your football is out of season, once your Formula One is out of season, there's only one thing that's always in season your penis. <laughs> you feel me? I don't know too many guys who are ejaculated when they're watching Hamilton, unless they've got their own other fetish. You get my point? So, we have to look at why are guys behaving the way they do and how can we help that environment to improve it. For now, I'm not going to hold my breath. And with the way the country is going, with all these taxes, everything's being taxed. The only thing that's free is the fact that we breathe air. Mm. If that's tax, God knows who's going to afford it. So based on that, I don't see a lot of things changing. The only thing we can do as men is advise other men who are having these struggles, is if you can't find something else, take a walk. If you can find a game you'd like to play somewhere, do that instead. Does it mean most men are going to go like, oh, I didn't think of that. I'll do that. No. But at least you've given one guy an opportunity to do something different. But you're not going to fool me by saying that that sensation he gets from masturbating is not worth having because it is worth having.
my issue is can we reduce this 10 times a day to 10 times a month mm. and it's manageable but his weakness not does not come from the masturbating it comes from the fact that he's not replenishing what he's exhausting and the way things are going most of our cheap foods don't have the nu nutritional value to replenish your body with what it needs i think that uh, masturbation is very tied to pornography uh and i hear out there that there is so much addiction and a lot of consumption of, of pornography uh, why is pornography good and why is it bad um I've watched porn from when I can remember me being able to understand what porn is. And that was probably in the 80s until now. How, how uh, are you guys watching I've, porn in the 80s? In the, in the, in the, where? Mostly with our eyes, because uh, you'd, you'd put a cassette tape in the VHS and it would play and you'd put it on when your parents are outside and stuff. Where would you get them? Sorry? Where would you get the cassette players? Ah, uh, back then I was, a, I was the plug. I was that gay. You have been a nuisance for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I've been a nuisance for <laughs> That's a good one. I didn't see that one coming. Uh, you can hate this guy, but you love him at the same time. Yes, I've been a nuisance for a long time. But my point is this. No, 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 no. I don't know your point, Yako. 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 I don't know The porn tapes. We just had plugs, man. We had guys who are traveling outside the country. They bring it in. Uh, your local, uh, what used to be our tape store where you go and borrow tapes. Um, and if you don't return them, you'll find that guy. There was a plug there as well. And I get, that guy wasn't allowed to distribute pornography, bro. Yeah, but like today, people are not allowed to do a lot of things. They still do them, don't they? And that's the euphoria that we don't live in. Where, oh, but porn's not supposed to be distributed. Wow! <laughs> we don't live in that world. We live in a world where some things are not allowed, but if you source them, you'll be given. That world has never ended. 80s to now. Now it's even worse. Because most accessible things today, it's like that. It's about money. In the 80s, I had never thought people could own a gun. Now I hear Kenyans talking about, hey, do you know when we went clubbing that day, I was packing. What? You are carrying a gun. It's called, your, uh, it's called packing. Yes. Why can't I get a gun today? I don't know. I think I should have a gun. I don't know. No. I just deal with vaginas and penises. I don't want anything <laughs> that's going to shoot or kill anyone. Dude, that's not my sector. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guns don't tend to squirt, so I stay clear. <laughs> yeah. uh, Gun squat. Boof. I, uh, no, that's not squatting. Let's not change the squirting thing. It's not going to work. I, I, I'm not a. I've, I've been to a gun range. Mm. Uh, a lot of fun. So pornography has really been, uh, you know, it's, it's an ill, societal ill. You know. What, I, what, what is, you what want is, me to say yes? Don't you? No, no, asked, no, no, no. You know, you've uh, you've asked that question the way a Kenyan asks a question, or rather, Christians ask a question. Yeah. Christians always ask you a question that they already know the answer to. Or if you sway away from that answer. They look at you weird, like, that's not what I was expecting you to say. I hate those kind of people. I hate those kind of people. Because they're controlling. Pornography is a societal ill, right? <clears throat> you see? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Let's put it this way. Yeah. Depending on the consumer and how he consumes it, that's a problem. Yeah. Pornography is not advertised. Is it? No. Do you, do you see it advertised? No. Mainstream. No. no. Do you see people looking for it? Yes. People are looking for it for sure. Yes. That's why, for example, Pornhub, they're clocking what? Billions in views. Mm, 4.8 billion, whatever. It is, it is, uh, what is it today? I haven't checked. I think, it's, I think it is today. It's in the top 10. Yes. Why? Because it is a human 
sexual act. Okay. We can call it porn, we can call it whatever. It's still watch us watching other humans perform sexual acts. It's as simple as that. Um I'd prefer watching porn than the useless sex happening in people's homes that can't even be videoed. What are you videoing? It's over in two seconds. What the hell is that? That's the shortest movie ever. Even that camera. Yeah, can, can you imagine a video film that's shorter than the setup of the camera set? How long is your setup for camera set? An hour. <clears throat> an hour. Or, or more. Yes. Now, you're sitting up for an hour to watch a guy last for two seconds. How is that even sellable? The point is this. The consumer. That is two seconds of good how, work. How? <clears throat> oh, two seconds of good work. Mm. <laughs> rest in peace vagina so um, it's the consumer if you watch porn and it causes you to masturbate 20 times it's you as chosen to masturbate and funny enough I've I've talked to guys who don't even watch porn but they masturbate yeah Porn is an influencer, yes. But before porn went mainstream, before there were porn hubs, before the internet was flourishing with porn like it is today, men still masturbated. Men have masturbated when we, we, we were dealing with fires, not electricity. So let's not blame porn. Has it increased the rate around the world? Yes. But masturbation has always been there. Just the way like prostitution is the oldest trade ever. It's still there. <coughs> prostitution is the oldest trade. Yes, it is. And it's not going anywhere. Most of our social circles today, we have legalized prostitution. I don't, I don't think it, it is legal in Kenya. No, no, no. It's legal prostitution. Meaning it looks like a date, but it's not a date. Oh. It's a fictitious, romanticized, transactional date. Ile that we define as a date, but really... Ile a 50K. Yes. And many others. Oh, he's my boo. But I only see him four times a year. Boo as in like ghost? Like, really? Come on. So it's legalized. And that, those, those are things we're not discussing. But we want to condemn a guy because he's uh, flirting with his penis. Really? He's flirting with his penis. Yes. That's another name for masturbation. I, I just made that up, by the way. Just, but it just sounded nice in my head. <laughs> 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 so the one thing that men need to get out of this is, mm. if you're masturbating and you're concerned about it, first and foremost, you're the only one in power of stopping. I can't come to your home and tell you not to hold your own penis. So if you're asking me for an alternative, my, the alternative is stop masturbating and try and invest in a relationship if that's possible. In the relationship, whether that we're in, also problematic. Because some issues now will give you more erectile dysfunction than anything else. So you were better left alone with your own penis. So it's not like there's going to be a solution that's definite. I can tell a guy, you know what? Stop masturbating. Not good for your health. Not good for your body. And find a it's girlfriend. Not good for your faith. Because it does not align with what I believe in. So why would I work at it? Girl, you know me, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> like I always say, I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to just give you as it is. What you do with information is your own business. So if I told a guy that and then he went and got a girlfriend, because I have had men tell me, you know, I thought the, 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 the solution would be to get a girlfriend, be in a relationship, now start, you know, engaging with a woman that I like or I love, I'm in a relationship, blah, blah, blah. But now the guy's coming and tell me I was better off masturbating because this woman, I never want to have an erection with her. Because Nishida tupo all the time. Shida. My penis has flatlined, my fact, it's curled. It, it looks like a, you know, the way snails curl up when you just 
abruptly appear. That's what's happening to his penis. Before he used to have a proper erection. Now the last time he saw erection, I don't know. Stress. Yes. I hope that you're enjoying this program. I just wanted to break this program to tell you that if you like the images that you're seeing, the video, the editing, we can do your corporate work, we can do your podcast, we can do your documentary, we can do anything, especially if you're building something and you want to showcase it, we can always do that. So we are going to be leaving our contact on the description of this video. Please check it out. So if you have a job and you, are, you like what you're seeing, the editing, the, the image quality, you know, contact us and we can do something amazing just like this for you. So thank you very much and back to programming. Is that a solution? No. So I think some of the things that we need to look at is, are there alternative things? Why don't we have youth centers and sporting centers? I saw something amazing happening in places like Morocco, Tunisia, Egypt. Young kids in a really massive recreational center. Kids were swimming and running, sprinting, whatever. Kids are being tuned, fine-tuned for other things, sporting, whatever. Not all our kids are going to be academic, and that's fact. All these young boys we watch watching football and those of Formula One and all the basketballers, all those guys Kenya, were in, not... In Kenya, we can't even afford watching football. Where do you watch Formula One, by the way? Where On which station do you watch Formula One? I can't see it on... On these things? No, I've subscribed to their channel. Can you give me a, a login? Jagero. 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 Now I'm, you're I'm, behaving. I'm a poor man. Jagero, you see, what man, you've man. done there is, yeah. and this is exactly what we're discussing, <laughs> you are encouraging Kenyans <laughs> to take free shit. Free is if dangerous. My, my brother, and we're talking if, about if, free if, being if, dangerous. If, if, my, if my Masimba brother gives me login, that's not free. You're paying. Are you not paying? No, I'm paying, yes. But that's not even the problem. How many, how many does it allow? How many does it allow? I giving how, you the login how, how is does, not the problem. How many does it allow? My problem is how, how we're doing a podcast, yes, where now we are encouraging the one thing we're telling people to stop doing. Which is? Stop taking things for free. Hmm. How many does it allow the logins? How many people can? We don't worry. We'll discuss. We'll discuss the log. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, by the way, by the way, Mateka, I, I am so serious about the fact that it is so expensive to watch recreational stuff. Like right now, Netflix is very expensive. Yes. You know. Yes. Uh, I think it is jammed to one thousand six hundred or mm -hmm. thereabout. Mm -hmm. You know. <clears throat> DSTV. Realize that people can't afford their shit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Then they came up with a with the with a sister, mm -hmm. a sister company called Showmax. I think they are sisters. And then they they gave us uh, uh, this this subscription whereby you could uh, you could watch the Premier League on Showmax. Right. Then they realized that everybody's living DSTV because DSTV is dumb is bloody expensive. Yes. Now, when and even the content is yeah, a bit is, is fucked up. Yes. People flocked. Show Max. You know what they have done now? They have taken out the ability to watch soccer on TV on Show Max. You can no longer watch soccer on so on Show Max on TV. You can only watch on your mobile device, and you can only stream one person concurrently. You can put it in five devices, but only one can watch concurrently. So people people are masturbating because they can't even watch soccer, bro. <laughs> See how bad this is? This is really bad. I love the way you just went round. <laughs> and that's why people are masturbating. You know... No, I get what you're saying, but you see, and that's the point. We don't have any recreational stuff. And the one that's there, it's expensive. Yeah. That should not be the case. Gyms are so expensive too. The one yes. that you are... You are, you are Yes, gyms are expensive. Any anything that's out of the norm will be out of the reach for a lot of people, and that's just fact. Fact. Men don't have the privilege of sitting down somewhere and having two hundred gay spent, and you didn't spend a coin. Mm. Would you sit with fellow men and you know you have nothing in your pocket and expect them to pay for your drinks? You won't. Men only pay for girls. Sometimes they do. Once in a while. Do it. 
They pay for other men. Who? Men. Sometimes. Yes, they do. But my point is this. Yeah. What's Even if they can, I don't want to put myself in a situation where I'm relying on other men to pay for my drinks. Jagera, if you ask me, hey, Maurice, I'd like to buy you a drink. That's very different. You've said you want to buy me a drink. But I'm not going to be calling Jagero. Eh, where are you? Ah, let me join you. And but, I've but, joined but, you knowing I don't have money. By the way, Maurice, today you should buy me a marola. <clears throat> <laughs> 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 why do you feel like why do you feel like I've given you a heart attack bro that's a marula man I'm having a heart attack Jagero Jagero you know you know you are my big brother I, I'm your big brother how, how old are you by the way my big brother is not by you I'm a you're 40 what <laughs> you're, you're 40, 45 or 50 what oh god no no let's, let's go back by the way let me tell you we are, we, we, 48 yeah, you're my big brother. We are we are winding down, but I yes. want to, I want to I want to. St- <laughs> you know, this is this is you're the only guy I can discuss anything with. Good. The other day I was watching a, a movie, uh, a series called Godless. Okay. And I was so. I was I loved it so much. <laughs> uh, not, why? Not the things that were happening in it, uh-huh. the people and that interact, but their way of life. Okay was so authentic and so beautiful that the most important thing about that is the is the is the, the use of transportation which are horses okay and no i was like by the way this can really work well in yakach okay you know we can really make do with for, with horses in yakach right because there are no modes of transport okay. i was imagining from my home to the shamba down the road down, down close to the river mm-hmm. I would use a horse. Yes. And then something t- t- told me, Google, how much a horse is? Mm-hmm. Damn. They're not cheap. Why? This That's is not related to masturbation, by the way. Fine. <laughs> uh, unless you've got fetish for horses. The thing is, if, if you look at how the Red Indians used to live, yeah. they had an abundance of horses in many other places around the world. But then at some point, horses became for the elite. So... Horses only are only owned by people who have a lot of money or perception that they have money. Which is really unfair. Which means the commoner will never own a horse. But that's a system that was built. It's not by chance. And yes, it would work very well. What the way we have borders, what if we had horses? Wouldn't that work very well? Wouldn't that also make sure that all these emissions with our cars and you'd use the horse for certain distances? Mm. That would work. But horses are now for the elite. Why? Yeah. All right. My friend. Yes. You, are, you need to go for your meeting, which is which is starting in about 20 minutes. Yes. I need to wrap up. It has yes. been a long day. Uh, I am so happy that you are full of health. You are still full of drama. Yes. <laughs> And you're doing well. Thank you very much, sir. You know? Thank you for always inviting me. I, I wish you a very, very good year. You We're going to have a fantastic year. More of crayfish. Yes. You know, more life. Yes. I don't know about squatting. I'm, in, I'm inviting you to Machakos again, so you need I'm to come. Ca- I'm coming. Yes. I'm coming, bro. I'm coming so that we can have a, a good time like last time. Fantastic. What do I bring you when I come to Machakos? A bottle of something. I'll let you know what. Yeah. All right, people of the internet, thank you very much for tuning to this episode. It's always a beautiful thing to have Matheka on site, on set. Thank you. You know, you make the world happy. Women love you, you know. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> I wanted to hear that. Uh-huh. The universe loves you. Asada, asada. And I you love know? the universe. One of the things I really want this, uh, to ha- us to have uh, in the next uh, few months or yeah, two yeah, is to yeah. have an event. Well, you just come and talk to an audience. Yes, please. Let's do that. But I've been saying that since last year. We need to talk to you guys. Mateka. Let's let's do something. Yeah. An event. Yes. We need to talk if, to if they have a, if somebody has a venue. Yes. They should they should If you have a venue that yeah. we can use, please yeah. contact us. Yeah. Contact him or me. Just let us come to your venue. We'll do the logistics and let guys come there. You know, we you know, pass the mic around. Anyone who wants to be part of us and stuff like that. And just let's have an event. Outdoor event. Just somewhere. 
Mm. You have a venue, let's do this. Or indoors, whatever it is. But if you have a venue we can use, yeah. please contact us. We'd love to do something out there. Awesome. And please consider subscribing to the channel. Yes, subscribe. Leave a comment. Like, share, leave comments. And just minimize on the masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> Until another episode. Cheers. Cheers.